Hello! I'm Jake Friday, the Dungeon Master for Venture Ventures and our adventure, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Session 3 will begin here in a second. Uh, we are currently in the Dungeon of the Dead 3, uh, but first let's go around the table. I preemptively had them level to level 3, so I wouldn't have to nerf anything further. If you've read this adventure, you know why. So, Brian, describe what, how your character changed, and so forth. I'm Brian. I play Kairos the Red, the Red Tiefling Paladin of Horror. Um, and this level is a fun one for me because I took my Oath of Vengeance, uh, which gives me some channel divinity fun stuff to do, as well as uh, new spells. Uh, and uh, another fun thing that happened is my racial trait, giving me Searing Smite at second level, also activated at third level. So I'm a third level pally that gets to cast a second level spell, which isn't a thing that you can usually do. Because what your what kind of paladin again? I'm sorry. Um, it has to do with my racial trait. I'm a tiefling. Oh of right. Burial. Um, so because I'm that particular kind of tiefling. I get a yet another smite, which cool. I am a big fan of. Yeah, smites are fun. Gary. I'm Gary, playing as Jarvis Silverspear. I picked up a whopping two spells. I took... Uh, no, I already forgot what I took. Uh, I took... Scorching Ray and Invisibility. Nice. Dave. Hey, how's it going? I'm Dave Roderick. I am playing Okorsh, Jerry Okorth. Prefers to be called Jerry to fit in. And I leveled up to three and got a uh, Totem Spirit for my Barbarian, um, which allows me to cast a couple rituals, um, uh, speak with animals, and another uh, like animal spirit or something. Um, and then I chose the Primal Path uh, Totem Spirit of the Bear, so I get uh, resistance to all types of damage except for Psychic. It's going to be fun putting animals in front of Jerry. <laughs> uh, Roz. What's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Roz. I am playing Rollercoats, and at level 3, I went the Gloomstalker Path. And that gives me Dread Ambusher and Umbral Sight. So I get a small bonus to my initiatives and more damage on my first attack. And then now if uh, I'm adept at Dark Vision, so I can see an extra 30 feet. And creatures that rely on Dark Vision to see me when I'm in darkness, I am invisible to them. Do you, can you still move? Yeah, it just says you are invisible to any creature that relies on dark vision to see you in that darkness. Cool. Yeah, Gloomstalker. All right. Let's get going. We ended last session uh, with the party dealing with a large dude wearing a bucket and a woman with a shield getting the sl getting affected by the sleep spell dispatch them quickly the person they were torturing uh, is freed and now tried to convince the party to escort him out of the dungeon but was rebuffed and as uh, Kairos was searching stuff like armor Got attacked by some animated gauntlets, and that's where we're going to start off. Did we roll initiative? I don't think we did, so let's do that for... We did not. Oops. Wrong type of dice. Sweet. Uh, 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 18. 19. Who had the... 19. Me. 19 and... 18. 18. 15 to 10. 10 to 5. 9. 
number nine. Five to one. I think you're muted, Gary, but I got a four from reading four. your lips. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> well played. I'm surprised I'm not going last. And I'm surprised I'm going first. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, Brian. Yeah, it's not going to happen often. <laughs> Are you going to make your paladin the strength paladin? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Kairos, you're up first. Well, um, I grabbed these. I grabbed these gauntlets uh, with the intention of, of taking them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and grapple them. Both of them? Can I? Oh, I guess are they are they independent or is it yeah, a they set are. of gauntlets? Okay, then um I will go for one of them, I guess. Cool. Hmm, that's not very good. Thirteen. Nope. They're very quick. Let's say float through the air. Uh <laughs> Move, cool, cool, cool. Movement or bonus action? Uh, let me double check bonus actions real quick. Mm. Nope, I'm good. Okay. That will be Rollercoast. <clears throat> I am going to pull out my two swords and give them a the armor a quick stabby stabby. Let's do it. And then I want to use my Dread Ambusher, which gives me, uh, on my first attack in combat, for each combat, uh, you take an, if you take an attack action, you can make one additional weapon attack. And then if I do hit with the second one, it does even more damage. Cool. All right, so let's see. The first hit is 15... Second hit is 16. Both of those miss as these gauntlets are a little quicker than you expect. Hey, Dave, can you move your mic up a little uh, bit? Sorry. Not a problem. Uh, yeah. Anything else you'd like to do on after that? Uh, that'll be it for me. Okay. Jerry. Uh, Jerry wants to just throw his, uh, his javelin at... Uh, at one of the floaty things. Okay. Do it. So he did. He wrote, I got a 15. Uh, Not good it? enough. Okay. Uh, Clangs against the wall. Then. Clank, a clank. That's it for me. Uh, I think it's the gauntlet's turn. Yes, it is. Gauntlet's turn. Gauntlets uh, are very zippy. Yeah, which they weren't on their initiative, <laughs> though. <laughs> they, they, they're they making a Jarvis sandwich right now. Uh, but they're going to tick you, Kairos. That is a 13, which probably won't do it. No, sir. Okay. And Jarvis. Jarvis is going to do what Jarvis likes to do and throw fireballs. Mm-hmm. Bolts, sorry. Uh, but it is not going to hit because it's a 11. No. You guys are very impressed. These these gauntlets are putting up more of a fight than the previous two dudes did. And gauntlet number two is going to go and smack Rollercoast. 17, nope, 18 to hit. Hits. Five damage. That's going to be bludgeoning damage. You got it. And back to the top of the round with Kairos. I'm still grabbing back the one. The that, I mean, round. even more excited about getting these gauntlets because they seem very impressive. So I'm grabbing the one trying to attack me yet again. How about it? A little better. 16? Not quite. Bummer. You're just grasping at air now. Probably looks really funny, but you you are fighting flying gloves, so. Yep. Uh, and I'm and I'm not very quick and dexterous whatsoever. Is there anything else you want to do? Um. 
What is so? It's just the gauntlets flying around, not the armor itself. No, it's just the gauntlets. All right, nothing, nothing else for now. No. Okay. Roller coaster. Same thing. Same thing. First attack. Twenty-three to hit. Indeed. And then the second attack, and use my bonus action to get another attack in. Is not going to hit to twelve. Okay. So. The first hit is seven damage. Seven damage. Then I will stand my ground. Excellent. Jerry. I'm going to try to grapple. I'm not really sure how to do that. Which one do you want to try to grapple? The one near Rollercoast or the one next to Kairos? Uh, the one... Uh, I would just say the one closest to me. Okay. Uh, so that'll be roller coasters. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. Just roll a d20 and add your <laughs> athletics. Uh, athletics. I have good athletics. Uh, nine. I'm remembering that right, Brian. It's a athletics roll. It's yeah. It's usually athletics. It's a contested yeah athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. Yep, yep, yep. Just checking. I don't. Know. Yep, yep. What'd you roll, Dave? I'm sorry. I rolled a nine. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah, that'll do. Nice. So Jerry's got it. He's like, uh, uh, uh. Yep. Possibly trying to put him on. I don't. I don't. <laughs> sure. Uh, anything else you want to do? What are these things called again? They're just animated gauntlets. Okay, got it. Awesome. Yeah, Jerry's trying to put one on, or trying to put the one he's grappling on. Cool. A la Thanos. <laughs> uh, okay. Flying gauntlet next to Kairos's turn. Terrible roll. Not gonna hit. Just trying to punch you in the face. <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis throws another firebolt at the one with Kairos, okay. and it is a 17. Yes, that just hits. Six. Excellent. Back to the top of the round. Kairos. No, don't hurt it! Trying to grab it again. 15 this time. Just middle numbers. Yep. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, bonus action. Can I jam my hand in it? Sure. I jam my hand in it, and that'll be. Uh, that'll be. I'm. I'm gonna start making a move to smash my fist into the wall, um, wearing the glove. Sounds or good. The... <clears throat> but I assume that'll be my next action. If yes, I it will. All right, I'm... but I move to a wall if I need to move to a wall. Okay, rollercoast. You definitely can do that. Rollercoast. Uh, Jerry's next to you, and he's grappled and put his hand inside the flying gauntlet. Is there any like rags or towels or cloth, anything in this room? Yes. Something I can like drape over one of these to like get a hold on it, you know? So you're gonna. Yeah, there's plenty of rags and stuff from people uh, yeah. torturing. Uh, you want to just put a rag like, over his yeah, hand? Yeah, throw it over it so you could, like, really hold. If it gets away, you have something to hold on to. Almost know? like a bag? Like, like a kite, you know, okay, or a bag, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll be a free action to pick up a rag and then make a an attack roll to, I guess, drape your... And it would be at advantage, I think, because he's grappled. Yeah. Wait. If it's at advantage, that's a nat 20. Yeah, it's I mean, screw it. Let's two. just do it. All right. So then I will find the closest decently sized rag. 
So Jerry's, yeah, Jerry's uh, attached to it as well. So uh, you've kind of got it over his hand, right. like like this. Uh, That's good. Now, it, now if it flies off, we've got a. Yeah, here. for sure. Uh, okay. Jerry, you your fist. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like on my back, or Jerry's on his back, and he's uh, got the sheet on it now, and he just tries to like, just like pound, pound his fist into the ground. So, sure. Um, I will say since Rolikos is holding on to your arm, and he's not. Oh, I thought he just put the sheet on it, and then. No, I mean it's it's gonna it's, it, it's gonna flip. It's, there's no like velcro on the sheet or anything to keep it on there. So, if it's a moving gauntlet and it's flailing around and he lets go of it, it's not gonna want to stay on there. Uh, so, the assumption is that Rolikos is holding on to the yes. yeah. Uh, so you doing that will be. I'll say you have to like do a contested strength roll with Rolikos because he's not aware of what you're going to do and so it's going to be like a he's holding on to the movement of the gauntlet and your movement is going to surprise him so make a strength okay. roll I rolled a 10 Okay. 15 so yeah you, you go to swing your arm <laughs> down on the ground and Rolikos thinking that this gauntlet is trying to get away uh stiffens kitty muscles and <laughs> cats can be wiry strong so oh yeah uh that'll be your action anything else no it's okay this encounter's going longer than i thought it would all right gauntlet kairos's gauntlet uh he's gonna try to escape Good luck. He's, he's probably going to, because I rolled really low. That is an 8 for me. I rolled a 20. So it squeezes off your hand. You're trying to make a fist to keep it from... But it's it's almost like a an arm. Like, Did you ever see Over the Top with Sly Stallone? <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's almost like a one person arm wrestling contest when you're just like this and then all of a sudden your arm just floats in the air and it slips off but that will be its action it's going to try to go away from you over to uh, Jarvis so you get an opportunity attack well I've been trying to grab it with my hands so I'm not holding any weapons but I will try to uh, yeah not with an unarmed strike. Do it. And that's, of course, where the good roll comes in. Ridiculous. That's a 24. Yeah. For four damage. <laughs> Excellent. Still gets away. And you, and you, and you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm yeah. going to do? Smite I'm it. I'm going to smite it mm -hmm. with my fist. <laughs> open, open palm. My fist just like gets wreathed in black black kind of like emanating hell yeah light if you will and then i just smack it down um so that's another 2d8 eh, not very good another five damage <laughs> whores smiting light <laughs> h-o-a-r uh cool so this gauntlet nearly hits the ground when you smack it when it floats back up kind of just almost limp as it's floating towards jarvis which now it's Jarvis's turn, but it... as as Jarvis heal hears Kairos yell not to destroy it. In his studies, does he know anything about stopping an animated gauntlet without destroying it, or would destroying it make it render it useless? Um, sure. Make a free make a free Arcana check or intelligence check. Wow. <laughs> Nine. Yep, no clue. You've you've made notes, mental notes to yourself to read more about animated objects, but you just haven't 
gotten there yet. Maybe not enough information you found on it, or you just haven't had the time. Nevertheless, it's still your turn with your full actions. Not not knowing anything about this thing, throws another firebolt at the one heading at him. Oops. 13? Nope. Bomber. Flying. How far away is it from me? It's it's ten feet. Cool. Uh, the uh, oh, do you want to do something else? Yeah, I was gonna go to the opposite side of the room since it's not directly next to me. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty small room, so you're probably only gonna get about twenty-five feet away. Fair uh, but that is your turn. Other flying gauntlet is now in a. It's going to try to escape, but it's got disadvantage, and uh, I'll let... Who's it escaping from? Yeah, so one of you decide who's going to do the athletics check, and you'll have it with advantage, but only one of you can roll it. You go ahead, sir. All right. Ooh, good call. 22. Yeah, it rolled a... Three, so doesn't get free. You guys have got a pretty darn good hold of it. Uh, that'll be its turn. And Kairos. I'm running after that gauntlet. Um, but I'm gonna I'm I'm now just pulling out my uh, mace that's at my waist. Or my morning star, sorry. My morning star at my waist and I'm just gonna bash it. I'm done with this noise. 18. Yep. Smash. That's six, six, Nine points of piercing damage. Yeah, so more than enough to end this thing. As you smash it down with your morning star, one of the fingers flies off, and it falls to the ground limp. And it's just lying there now. Not moving. That's sad. It was so much cooler when it was moving. I agree. I think we all agree. Is that <laughs> your turn? Um, I think I'm out of stuff. I guess I'd pick it up, but I could wait to do that. Sure. Yeah. Next round. Rollercoas. You've got this thing covered with a sheet. Well, now saying that we're breaking the gauntlets, not trying to capture them. I am going to let go of the sheet, back up, and then just draw my swords and wait for it to come off of his hand so that I don't murder his hand when I try to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be funny, but unfortunate. Okay, sounds good. So you're just gonna you're gonna wait, hold your action. Yeah. Okay. Jerry, smash it on the Jerry. ground again. Uh, no, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's sure, just gonna. Well, yeah, I guess if he lets go of the sheet, yeah, then Jerry just tries to do that again. Wham! And I, I only rolled an eight, so. Anything involving strength, I just never roll well. I think you, if you're raging, you're not raging though. I don't. I'm if, not raging. Yeah, yeah, but raging, you get advantage on that stuff, or no? Is that am I miss? Remember? I get extra correct. damage. Yeah. I believe you also get advantage on strength-based ability checks, such as grapples. Well, uh, it doesn't work, Jerry. So somehow I'm not able to smash it. I'm just like, like I hit my elbow on the ground first. And yeah, like, you're, oh. al you're also trying to maintain control of this thing, so it's yeah. not like you are freely swinging your arm around. You're like uh, Jim Carrey and Liar Liar. Good call. Ben. Good call. That's, that's what's going on. That's exactly... Nice. That was a fantastic... Isn't there a Jim Carrey where he's also wrestling his own hand? Like, in the mask? Or something like that? I guess it's just the mask on his face. I think I could safely say I haven't seen the mask since I was probably, like, ten. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Jerry, or... Not Jerry. Um, Jarvis. Your turn, sir. So one being on the ground, the other one's on his hand. 
Yes. What would you like to do? <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna hold my firebolt for when that thing comes off of his hand. Okay. So, make an athletics check, Jerry. This thing's gonna try to get away. No, always... no longer at advantage. Um, I got a twelve. Yeah, because I'm rolling like crap. Uh, for I'm just, once yeah well it's bound to happen that's just the way the bell curve rolls uh, it's both streamed and recorded um, yeah so we're just going to go out of initiative order because I don't want to just wait for this thing to flop off your hand and okay. so uh, Jerry just like Jerry just like lets it go then okay so if Rollercoast and Jarvis, your goal is to blast this thing until it stops moving, we're just going to say it's dead. Uh, it's Venture Ventures, twitch.tv slash Venture Ventures. Gotcha. So we're just going to say that eventually you guys would have mashed it because it's not intelligent, intelligent enough to run away. And there are two smashed gauntlets on the ground amongst who knows what was going on in this room you have a scared not Kazira what was the dude's name Klim Klim <clears throat> Klim, Klim Jasso Jasso or Jasso that's it yeah well I, I, I pick up the gauntlet at my feet uh, the one missing a finger and I still slide it on and still, still pretty good armor how's the other one look the one that you smashed? The other one. Oh, the other one? Um, it's dented and ugly, but it has all its fingers. The one that you smashed was missing its middle finger. You get that Perfect. fixed, or you can put yeah, it on yeah. and I, just have it. I your also pick, I put it on with the middle finger exposed, but mm -hmm. I do pocket the uh, the other finger. Um, and I if it, it's free, if no one else picked it up, I go get the other one and put that on as well. Um, and then I start making my way to the suit of armor, mumbling about how that's a nice suit of armor. Uh, the suit of armor is welded together. I believe this is the one I told you is welded together. <clears throat> Correct. Uh, but it did. So yeah, you've got a massive suit of armor that is not, it's gonna be unwieldy to, to, haul around but yeah you... I'm, I'm i'm still i'm still gonna haul it around okay. as best i can all right <laughs> clanky 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 through a dungeon uh, oh yeah pots and pans banging <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've been smashing walls who cares that's true <laughs> that's true and uh i'm noisy anyway now that you're level three i will not be Ignoring that. Uh, <laughs> but Clem, Clem is going to go, What the hell is going on around here? Please get me out of here. I will not survive if you do not escort me out of this dungeon. Oh, it's a good suit of armor. You don't come across these all the time. It was trying anyway, to murder we... you. Oh, all the best armor does. Are you just really going to leave me here and... Nah, well... The... well... We'll take them out. Uh, I guess those guards up there, they're going to be a problem anyway because they're part of the this Dead 3 thing. So, and w It's been a while since I served with the Fist. I totally forgot we're kind of the authorities, so we can just go beat them up if we want. Yeah. Should we go carve an exit path for this guy back the way we came? Yeah, we could go let him out of the bathhouse if the <sighs> guards are in the way. Slap him around. Are you and sure? Come back in here. So I'm... I'm just gonna have to deal with all this violence, regardless. Yeah, yeah it's either violence that way, or... Do you remember what was <sighs> just happening to you, like, 20 minutes ago? Yes, I'm in horrible pain still, and I don't know what to do. Can you just leave me in... Is there... Have you come across, like, a closet? No. We... We could put him in the tomb. Oh, we could put you in a tomb. We came across a nice tomb. <laughs> All right. I see your point. I will uh, lead the way. 
Yeah, sounds like a good idea. All right, let's go, guys. And I just start drag, like half carrying, half dragging my suit. Okay. I'll pick up the other end. So. Sure. <laughs> you guys make your. Oh, thanks. You retrace your way back to, and thanks to Jarvis's familiar, you know that the path you didn't take also leads to the same spot where you entered the dungeon and you make your way up the stairs to the bathhouse and uh, as you're climbing the stairs and you get to the pocket door the secret pocket door you hear someone crying in the massage room and it's familiar to you Rollercoast as Kermala is still there in the massage room the guards didn't let her leave. She's oh, at the t tail end of a panic. She, when you left her, she was ha about to have a panic attack, anxiety attack, and now it's just like she looks exhausted as you guys enter. And uh, what do you guys say? Howdy. What are you doing here? I just want to leave. Okay, we'll get you out. Hold on. We gotta get this guy out, too. And then we bring, like, our half-naked, tortured friend. Oh, my over. God! What is... Did you do that? No. No. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna have so... I wonder if I could schedule a therapy session that's, like, a day long. This is horrible. And, uh, she just is exhausted and so what do you guys want to do you got two stragglers who can't fight with well, you well i'm going to uh drag my armor into the room and set it down I'm, uh, this is a good place for this right now mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna hand kermala um two gold coins and say sorry about this this spot's probably not gonna be running for very long and uh you're about to lose your job all right, let's uh, make a way out, guys. And I start Draw my way to the... <laughs> Okay, you I guys. Pull out my big sword and make my way to the door. Excellent. Uh, and rush out, I presume. Yep. Yep. Okay, so you rush out, and this place is there was two people before, as Jerry knows, uh, who were there and they left. There is one person, ta one uh, customer you, you think is talking to the two remaining guards uh, who are huddled towards the front of the bathhouse, towards the entrance, and they're about 20 feet away. So you guys, uh, let's roll initiative. Didn't, they're not surprised. As I'm busting, yeah, as I'm busting out, I'm, I'm saying like, flaming fist, this place is getting shut down. Excellent. Whoa. Not what I wanted. 25 to 20. 20 21. Jarvis? And, 20, and also 21. Rollercoaster has higher decks. Yeah. 20 to 15. 15 to 20. Ten. Jerry. Three. God damn it, Jerry. <laughs> if nothing else, he's consistent. That's that's <laughs> accurate. You need to test your uh, dice dice weight. <laughs> As Brian, you found out yours were pretty bad, badly. Yeah, like seven or eight sets of dice were wildly unbalanced in very bad ways. Wow. It was a bummer. How do you test that? Uh, salt water for plastic dice. Very, very, very salty water. And you bounce the die, and if the same number comes up every time, it's indicative of a uh, uh, poorly balanced die. But it has and to be... Go ahead. Uh, it's very noticeable. I was surprised, like, because... I've done where you just roll it, you know, 40 times in a row, 
and it kind of the numbers blur together and it doesn't really feel like any one is rolled more than the other when you're doing it in water it's the same number that comes up every time wow. or the same like corner that comes up every time it has to be extremely salty water and it only works with like light plastic dice um, but it was very telling and I suddenly realized that it's probably not my dice box that's cursed it's shitty dice <laughs> also it has to be salt from the dead sea so keep that in mind all other Correct. salt does Only not dead work sea salt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the salt around us does not it can't be from the salt in sea surprisingly surprisingly it has to be dead sea salt uh <laughs> excellent so roller coaster you're up first these two night blades are about 20 feet away from you I'm just, no warning, just sending off a shot at the one on the left. Okay, excellent. Do, do they even know they're in a fight? Yeah, I mean, to. they heard you guys, as soon as Kairos was grunting and getting pumped up to run out, yeah, they started looking around. That's fair. I would do that. All right, I am going to... Do I have to... Oh, fantastic. That, that my Dread Ambusher doesn't take an action or bonus action. First thing I'm going to do, Hunter's Mark, the one on the left. Nice. Then Golf attack. Times. And then Dread Ambusher attack. First attack is a 10. Nope. Second attack is a 13. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So that does one of these. So that's 11 damage plus. What is my drug ambush? 13 damage total. Yeah, so you shoot him right through the left eyeball, and he goes down, not moving. And his buddy is now clearly, clearly terrified as you guys run through. But he doesn't get to go, so Jarvis, it's your turn. Throws a firebolt at his buddy. 16. Yep. Three. Okay. Anything else? Nope. All right. Now it's this guy's turn. And he is going to <laughs> turn tail and run. With his name little... is this guy. That's his full name. This guy. It's spelled weird, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, you guys are gonna give chase? You're gonna let him run? I at the, my first opportunity, um, I'm going to <laughs> um, abjure him with my channel divinity, and uh, that could potentially make him frightened and reduce his speed to zero. <laughs> All against right, so, a wisdom save. So he runs out the door. Right, uh... Yeah, you can barely see him. He's rounding the corner to get to the second, the garden, the garden door, the outdoor set of doors. Uh, it's a wisdom save, he said. Yeah, so I definitely give chase to do this. Um, my eyes go all silver and black. And they give an utterance to whore. So it's a wisdom save versus a DC of 13. He rolled a 2. <laughs> I'm going to guess that a challenge rating 1 quarter does not have very high wisdom that can save against that. So he stops. Is that what happens? Yes. So he's... Uh, I accidentally went back. Um... He is frightened, and his speed is reduced to zero. And it can't benefit from bonuses to speed for one minute or until it takes any damage. Gets knocked out of this condition if it takes damage, or does it make another save? Um, it gets knocked out of the condition if it takes damage. Okay. All right, yep. So Nightblade R, the right one, which is what I marked it, and that shall be his name. Mr. R. 
That was your turn, I presume, or do you have another? Um, that is an action, so I would just close the distance if I could. Yeah, as you much already. As I could. Yeah, you already, already used moved. your movement. So, yeah. yeah, so I'm done. Jerry, they ran uh, out into the garden outside. Yeah, Jerry gets that javelin out. Any opportunity to use that javelin? Uh, I'm just gonna assume you keep picking it up, or you just yeah. have a bag of holding worth of javelins. <laughs> I got a 23. Nice. Yeah, that hits. Ooh. Let's see here. Uh, eight. Eight piercing. Yeah, so he's frozen with his back to you, and you put the javelin right through the back of his neck out of his throat. And he hits oh, hits the ground, and... But Jerry's just like, oh, man, I didn't <laughs> have that good accuracy. Holy shnikes. <laughs> yeah, your first throw of a javelin in the first session was trying to hit that guy climbing the wall, and it... <laughs> He's just like, and he's just like going around to the adventuring party. He's just like tapping everyone's shoulders. Did you see that? Did you see the one ran out of the kids out of his dumb fuck, man. Oh. Yeah, that's how it was a good throw as I'm picking, grabbing that dude by the scruff and dragging his body back into the building. Yeah, so when you got there, his his neck and head was kind of suspended by the, by the javelin sticking out of it. That's how hard it was thrown. Uh, and I do, I yank the javelin out to, to give back to you as well, Jerry. Good lord. And then I start dragging. Wipe it off on my eyes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, by the end of your trip to hell, anybody that would be like that, you'll like play the trumpet through the hole in their neck. That's how hardened you guys will be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and you'll learn the trumpet in hell. Spoilers. We'll all be better people for it. <laughs> all right, so uh, you drag him back in. Uh, Kermala and Klim are... Kermala Harris. Yes, Dave. We've already established that this is Kermala Harris. <laughs> uh, Kermala. Having a panic attack. Uh, they're, they're inside. Witness you guys just take down these guards that were so imposing to Kermala, at least. And uh, they look around and say to you, can we, is it clear now? What? Uh, we just need to take down, uh, well, we got your names. Uh, what are your, where do you live? We need your, uh, where do you live? You want my, you want my place of residence? For the, for the reports, yeah, we're, we're going to need that. I don't know if I should be... I'm from... I'm, I'm of noble blood, sir. Dude, really? And I just, like, heft my sword. <laughs> I'm like... Oh, you don't have to be so... You passed your intimidation check without even rolling. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh Jerry, you also, as a member of the guard... You know who his fam, the Jasso fan. All of the guard pride themselves yeah. on knowing who. You know where this guy lives. So, um, Clem's Clem looks at Jerry and you hefting a sword and goes, "I guess it doesn't matter since you have a member of the guard here with you." So he tells you his residence, which I can look up now. But I don't want to, and slow down the game. It's all good. It's so all you, good. your character knows it. That's what I needed to know. Perfect. Kermal is as well, for the reports. So Kermal freely gives it. She's she's very. She she asks again if it's clear. The coast is clear, uh, just to calm her nerves. And she wasn't there a third guard, or did he leave? Yeah, he he took off. Okay. Uh. So, yeah. All right, all right, you guys can go. Uh, ways free. Uh, be safe. Uh, bye. And also, don't go back here to work. This place is uh, shut down. Sorry, sorry about that. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm like writing down in a pad of paper like a cop. Only my handwriting <laughs> is like a three-year-old's. It's really bad. 
Excellent. Embarrassingly bad. You're like maybe writing two words like, per page. Like, yeah, it's I'm very like large. My whole, whole fist. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. So Kermila That's takes off. Right question. Clem, it's true. Uh, you're just going to need to buy paper. A lot of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Clem takes off, and you guys are there in the bathhouse. What would you like uh, to do? Oh, uh, that was a good warm up. Want to go back down? Yeah, we can go back in there. Yeah, can we take just, you know, 15 minute break, chill for a minute, and then go back down? Ah, uh, I mean, I, if you need to, I feel like I'm going to have to stretch all over again if we do that, but uh, sure. Cool. And I just go sit by the sit by the water. Okay. Uh, you're. What are you? Are you t attempting? I'm just. I'm literally just taking a short rest so I can do my arcane recovery. It'll be an hour. Oh, thought I was just kidding. Uh, okay. Are you guys okay with an hour? If not, we'll go back down. I'm not too bad on spells. I think we should go back down there before that guard goes and finds people. That the one that got All away. Right. Yeah, I was gonna go with that too. Don't cool. worry, we'll uh, we got your back. Yeah, I've only used two spells, so I should be good. I have four left. <laughs> cool. So you guys make your way back down, and you head to the last room you were in, Buckethead room. And now that there's no Clem in it, and there's no Buckethead, you see above the altar that. Uh, in blood, maybe this is why it was more difficult, smeared blood is written, uh, submit your servant to the Lord of Darkness. And, uh, yeah, that's what you see. Um, I can't remember, did we pick up any, uh, like, insignia from Buckethead and the other one? Any, any notable thing? Did anyone grab anything? Let me see proof is that like did anyone grab proof of of these two no we just have clem's word and <coughs> and you have uh there's a set of keys you have you have buckethead's keys you have kazira's uh shield has yeah. the insignia of bane and um yeah um, does anybody want to carry the shield? We probably should. I mean, I just, I already have one on my back. It's cool. Yeah. I'll carry it. Sure, I'll take it. All right, here you go. Just, yeah, no uh, problem, man. This will, this will probably, uh, be, be good enough. Show them something was going on down here. That we did something. Is there another, uh, exit to this room? Yeah, so there's one in the where you entered from the northern portion of the room directly across the room there there the hallway uh goes down and then quickly hangs a right to the west uh i'm picturing it as if i were traveling down uh the corridor and that's not helpful so yeah it goes south and then directly to the west about you'll find out if you go there and then there's an exit uh to the east but it's got a door and yeah well gentlemen uh, which way do we want to go door no door door I like, I like doors. doors yeah I like doors too let's do the door who wants to go first so this is you said south and then it's to the west this is not the, the the south and to the west is the one without a door. The doored hallway is going directly to the east, there, and it is to remind you this portion of the dungeon is flooded with mm -hmm. effervescent poo, which is <clears throat> redundant, I guess, and. Gross. I described the door previously as being pretty weak, so... Well, if, if no one else wants to go first, I, I don't mind. 
and I start making my way to shoulder through the door. Uh, don't you want to see what's on the other side of the door before you go through the door? I can check. You know, I got my little spidey spidey friend. Oh, yeah, you can see through doors. I forgot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. I poof my spider into existence and send him under the door to look. Okay. He has to go swimming in the poo water. That's a bummer for spider. Oh, yeah. So, why is, why is it a bummer? He gets to go hang out, to, too. Just, just that he has to go. Oh, just in, in general? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's just a bummer. Yeah. I'm not going to try to think about how a spider <laughs> thinks, because I hate spiders, and well, I'm going to freak myself out. Don't I also, out. not only its eyes, but don't I also absorb its senses, too, so I then smell the poo water? Other As than this poo water? other than like speech, you can still talk. Uh, not through your, not through your familiar, but uh, yeah, you're basically, yeah. yeah. So it's horrible, but you notice going under the door, the smell changes to that of rotten eggs. Extremely strong smell of rotten eggs. Make a Wisdom survival check. Wisdom survival check. Okay. 18. Something clicks in your head. Not only does it smell bad, but you think it may be flammable in there. There's so much of it. It's so overpowering. And yeah. So as my spider's observing this, you said I can still talk. Um, so I tell, hey guys, uh, I think uh, this might explode or light on fire. I don't know if we want to go through here. This might not be safe. Should I keep going? Check it out. See what's here. I mean, you love fire. Why don't you just, you can just set it off while we're, you know, safe, safe away from it. I could do that. Um. I'll go a little bit farther with the spider to see what's up ahead before I do that, however. So you see this room is extends north about 30 feet, and it's about 15 feet wide. There's wooden beams similar to the ones you've seen in other rooms. There's not much else in here. Uh, yeah, you're not seeing much. Cool. I uh, pull my spider back into another another existence, and um, and I turn to my buddy over here. I want to check for traps before I open this door and send a firebolt down there. You do also see in that room just it, another corridor that juts off, but it, that's just like every other room. You can, yeah. Ooh. Actually, uh, do you want to look down there? Door could be trapped there? to a fire. Yeah, I do. Okay, so there's one to the south of this room. So you enter through through the east portion of this room, and then you go in about ten feet, and there's a corridor that goes south, and then there's another corridor on the eastern wall. The corridor I previously described just now is in the southern in the corner of the southern wall. The second corridor in this room is in the middle of the eastern wall, and it goes out east and then down uh so which corridor do you want to look through south okay so this one climbs some, a set of stairs goes about 10 feet further south and um turns west goes up another flight of stairs to a landing that is about 15 by 15 another room uh and it's fully out of water now you've climbed two sets of stairs and let's see this dry partially collapsed room contains a stone altar with humanoid skulls and bones piled around it the top of the altar is covered with dozens of half melted candles made of black wax all currently unlit this can be yours if the price is right there's three different candles you said Top of the altar is covered with dozens of half melted candles made of black wax. One dozens. All currently unlit. Got it. Uh, I believe with my familiar, I can cast spells if it were myself, right? 
touch spells. Uh, uh, touch spells. Got it. Uh, I don't think I could cast prestigitation then. Nay, tisn't a touch. Lame. Okay. Uh, repeating back what I see to my party. Um, on the way there might be uh, flammable, but there's an altar with some more candles. Seems like it may be a puzzle of some sort. And that uh, room on the f western wall continues. There's a corridor in the corner, uh, kind of directly across from where you entered this room. There's a corridor that continues west about 25 feet, and then there's a door going south. The south that was the south corridor that also has a door y yeah so okay yeah cool um i can only go 100 feet with my familiar so i can't go that far um i'm going to do i smell does it still smell of that rotten flammable material in here no as you climb those stairs the smell uh died off uh, which is likely because whatever is causing that smell is heavier than... Cool. Yeah. I'm going to pull my spider back. Hey, guys, stand back. And I go about... Let's see, I can cast uh, Prestidigitation. Uh, let's see. Can I only cast at 10 feet? Oh, that's cool. All right, I go back 10 feet. And I cast Prestidigitation to light a flame underneath the door. You can cast a flame with Prestidigitation? I think you can light a... I thought I could light something. Let me find it. Uh... You can instantly light or snuff out a candle, torch, or a small campfire. Sure. Uh, cool. So this is what happens. So your spider is right... Or you're doing it right at the. Yeah, I pulled my spider back, so I'm okay. I'm going back as far as I can, which I believe for precipitation range area ten feet, so I can go about ten feet away from the door. Okay. I would have backed up into the hallway. Yeah, but he can't reach if he's. Oh, yeah, he can't, but I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. I'm I'm gonna get ready to <laughs> do it, and I'm running backwards, by the way, just okay. in case. This is gonna be like an action movie. 90s 80s action movie and getting blown forward uh so yeah you hear a large kaboom <laughs> uh so much so that you think you see the words kaboom coming out of this room and you hear a bunch of rocks falling and yeah it's just there's dust and debris everywhere um yeah, you're fine though. You get a little pushed, but uh, good. yeah. Hey guys, After we didn't die today. After sciences, I just start busting out laughing. I'm like, ha! Ah, that's even better than smashing altars. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I just start fucking giggling in my. Uh, so do we want to see if we can still go that way? Because I don't know if we can still go that way. Or should we just check the other way? Uh, I think we should try it. I mean, there was a bunch of hallways in there, right? If that room isn't completely collapsed. Yeah. Yeah, let's go see. Let me check if it's... Roll a d4, somebody. He blew Dad. up the room. Let's let Jarvis do it. Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're checking in this room. And par it's partially collapsed. Uh, there are a couple beams remaining. It looks real sketchy. Uh, just peeking your head in there makes you nervous. But you can see a path to the other side of the room, the southern corridor, which you checked, coming from this new room, is blocked. But the eastern corridor that you didn't check is open remember in the bucket head room there's still the corridor that goes south a little bit and then west yep so you yep. those are your two options currently in terms of unexplored areas 
Well, I think I collapsed the tunnel, but there's still one tunnel we can go down over here. Just not the one with the puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna upload this little guy. I clipped part of the map of gotcha. what you have explored. Is that this guy's son, little guy? Yes. Yes, Dave. <sighs> it's okay, Dave. It takes me a while when I'm DMing to get stupid jokes like that. Because I'm trying oh, to... Same. My brain has to go, is this a legitimate question or is this a joke? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so the... I uploaded the portion. You're, the room with the bucket is the room with the star. Do you see that star? Uh, Tiny little star. Yes. No. Where did you put it? Yes. I put it in this channel. I d uploaded it in this channel, Dave. Oh. God. So we got two people who see the star. <laughs> Let me know when you've caught up. I might be able to help. Yeah, please please describe where the star is, if you found <laughs> it. I can do you one better. You're going to circle it? <gasps> <laughs> Why do I not see the star? I don't see the star. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, Gary, ah. Gary got sent to the principal's uh, office in elementary dude. school when he burned all the Where's Waldo books. <laughs> I found the star. <laughs> Do you need more arrows, Gary? I found the star. <laughs> this doesn't work, arrow. Brian. You can't use arrows. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the bucket head room. And then you went to the east. You see that little white door that you went through? Yep. And yep. then that room with the six pillars was the yep. stinky egg. Yeah. The one I blew Got up. It. And then you explored with your spider south going out of that room. And then you went up those two flights of stairs. Those little kind of bracket, expanding bracket things are stairs. And that little landing with the black candles was where you went. And I'm showing you a little bit more than you explored, but yeah. Got it. The metagaming in me realizes there's another way, but 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 I already, doesn't know that. I already told you there's... Uh, you have two know, options. Yeah. You have going east, which is what your spider found, and then you have the southern one. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Jerry's just like I don't know, man. If it, if it, like a room blows up, that probably means there's something pretty good in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, just, he does have a point. Just wait. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, it's 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 solid logic, really, when you get down to it. So, so this way we're decided? Yeah? Yeah, so let's go to the room we blew up. Why not? They'll never see it coming. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It'll work. Okay, so... That's where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Noticeably less smelly now. It still smells because you're in a sewer system. But uh, the smoke of that explosion really helps. It's like, you know, a match in the bathroom. And you head off to the east... And, yeah, I don't need to describe this corridor that you're going through, but it's still two feet deep of water going south. And there's pillars in there that are looking real sketchy. And you head east. It juts, hangs a left from your perspective, and juts east as the stairs rise up. Let me turn to that page of the adventure. All right, so going, continuing east, you go up those stairs that are at the bottom of the hallway that you can still see in the part of the map that I clipped. Mm -hmm. The That juts off to the east at the very bottom. Uh, and that goes up one flight of stairs for five feet and then continues on for... About 60 feet before a door directly ahead of you you see and you notice in the hallway there's little alcoves to the 
uh, right and left about halfway down the hallway. Um, yeah, what's your marching order? Um, I'm in the mood to take the lead, so I've, I've been taking the lead, unless someone stops me from doing it. I'll I'm take second. second or third, I'm, whatever. I'm, I'm third. I'm kind of dragging that shield around. Okay. And... I ho, I ho. It's off to death we go. I have swapped out my big sword for my morning star and shield. Okay. For what it's worth. Yeah, uh, bow drawn and ready. A couple of these alcoves, about halfway down the hallway to the left and right. The left and the left ones are collapsed. Uh, but to the right, there's three alcoves covered that end pretty quickly with a door. And... Mm-hmm. So, like, three separate alcoves, three separate doors? Yeah. Got it. So, like... You're going down, there's one to your right, and you go down another 10 feet, there's one to your right, you go down another 10 feet, there's one to your right. And then about another 10 feet forward would be the forward door. Got it. Any of them uh, look different? Are these the same, like, weak wood doors? Yeah, that That's you've... Weak. Yeah. Oh, you want to... Send your, send your spider. Yeah. yeah. Poofs back into existence again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, under... Yeah. Uh, it gives you the spider middle finger, which is probably just a leg, because you're sending him through poop water. Yep, he and, loves the poop water. And, uh, no, I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... No, he's from the Feywild, and, uh, no. Um, <laughs> He'll get used to it eventually. We'll be down here a while. It's possible. So the first door to the right... It, much of this room has collapsed once you go under the door looking around it's just a debris field burying a stone sarcophagus looking in the stone sarcophagus is that something you do yeah if i can if, if it's open i'm gonna kind of crawl into it a little bit yeah it's a tiny spider so looking in there you uh see more debris make a perception check Uh, yeah, nothing. You don't see much in there other than debris. Looks like it's been looted. Like there's a box popped open with nothing in it. Cool. Um, carry on. Second door. Uh, there is a... This one is not partially collapsed. But on the uh, there's a sarcophagus similar to the previous room in the southern end of the room, and it is not uh, as damaged as the previous sarcophagus. Spidey, of course, wants to crawl inside. Okay, it's um, like the mummy. Th the heavy stone lid is on the side, open. There's faded frescoes of spear-wielding warriors charging across golden plains on horseback. What did you roll on your perception check? Um, two. No, three. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, actually... And for, for, for Spider, because I'm trying to... Fit, wisdom is plus zero. It I'm, the only thing it calls out is stealth. I'm assuming it's it's my straight roll for that, right? It has a yep. passive perception of 10, though. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're investigating, though, right? You're, like, moving your little... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah. add your investigation modifier instead. What does that bump you up to? Like, four? What would that be for... Int. It'd be int. That'd be minus five of its intelligence. <laughs> yeah, animals are stupid. <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything uh, except 
a little corner of the bottom is chipped out the plaster um yeah uh there's a couple of sarcophaguses in this bleh. there's a couple sarcophagus is in this room but my spider i can barely so, see anything in there is, i'm pretty sure it's sarcophagi i know i know that one um uh, well, should, are there any should, books uh, in there? You, out, you really like you really I, like I, the books you found in the last. It, it's really dark and I don't see anything. Um, but no, I don't we, think we... I don't think you should look. You you've failed me twice before. I I don't know what you're talking about. Do you want me to open the door? I can open the yes. door for you. Let's, let's let's go inside. I go kick in the first door. Jesus Christ! Why don't you just open the door? You haven't <laughs> even checked the door. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh! That would have been smart, but no. That would have been very it. smart. Okay. You kick it open, and it's the same thing you found. And uh, I say, uh, there's the way. It's open for you, by all means. And I'm going to actually go search myself, since my spider's stupid. Investigation check in the sarcophagus. There we go. That's a roll. 19. Yeah, there you go. So the little chipped off corner of plaster at the bottom of the sarcophagus, you look through it and you can like use your hands to to uh, chip some off. And there's a false, it's a false bottom, uh, about an inch thick of plaster. Smashing through the plaster layer reveals a cavity below that contains a human mummy mummy floating in a shallow pool of red brine whoa um yeah i'm not sticking my hand in there and i'm sending my mage hand instead uh you see two moonstones embedded in the eye sockets of the mummy and a bag where the heart would normally be yep grabbing that with my mage hand Okay, so you want to grab... that's all less than 10 pounds. The uh, moonstones? Yeah. Sure. You have two moonstones. Cool. Do and me a favor, also... and anytime you guys loot something, mark where you got it somewhere, so it when, whenever you pawn it off, I can it'll make things quicker for me to look it up. So just put, like, Dungeon of the Dead 3... Uh, and then put D20 for the room. Put D20 for the room? Yeah. Okay. And then the bag... So that's not... Your, your mage hand is unable to rip open the chest that's covering this bag. It's bones. Mm -hmm. Oh, rib cage. Got yep, got it. Nope. I'll I'll just strength check. Wizard strength check. Oh god. <laughs> this could be interesting. Roll high. 7. As you're grabbing the the mummy's rib cage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Fuck. The mummy grabs your rib cage and rips it open, <laughs> and the mummy is much stronger than a wizard. I uh, figured if anything were gonna happen, it was gonna be when I take its eyes. It's, but, a, it's yeah. fair. Uh, yeah, adventure probably. riders also know that people think that way, so they might uh, choose to go against type. But uh, fair enough. you pull. You have a bag of beans now. I hand it to Kairos. <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> I didn't go in the room with you. I just opened the door. Oh, okay. Um, while you were doing all that, I moved to the third room, and this time just pushed the door to see if it opened. <laughs> uh, what's I your... tried the door for the third time. What's your passive perception? Mine? Yeah. Oh, not great. Ten. Hmm. As you're pushing on the door, you hear it's kind of something's pushing against it, and you hear moaning, like, Ugh. Uh, Jarvis? Yes? 
uh, spider. And as you say, yes. Jarvis, he, it pushes back against you, <laughs> and it seems like things are pushing against the door. Uh, guys? I cast firebolt at the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 18. Yeah, that hits. Roll for damage. <laughs> Two. So you char the door. It does a little bit of damage, but you didn't break the door. I grab your wrist and go, no, no, mm, no, I think this door, we uh, we leave this door. Seems to be doing a good job. <laughs> How about that door? Let's then why did you call door. me? I was going to have you look, but then this started, uh, the rattling started. We should, uh, should we move on, guys? Move on? Yeah. I mean, we were sent down here to clear this out, right? Should we clear them out? <laughs> you do raise a good point. All right, I'm on board. <clears throat> All right. And I start hefting my stuff. So you're going to smash the door? Um, I'm going to make sure everyone's ready. Gotta clear this place so out this is a wall. this is a five foot wide corridor to this door. Okay. Keep that in mind, and it's also a five foot wide long corridor that you just came down. Just want to make got sure it. you know that. So we're all trapped in a corridor. Got it. All right, all right, guys. No, we got this. We got this. All right. So uh, Jarvis, you stand behind me. And, uh, roller coast, you go a little bit back. And, uh, Jerry, yep, you're standing on the other side. And so we're flanking, like, where the alcove comes out in the five foot hallway into the longer one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You're, so we're going to funnel whatever... them into the space where we're pincering them with you're not... Jervis behind. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you this, uh, just so I don't have to use my words to explain it and confuse you potentially. Words, 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 words. Use I your may words. I have it right in my head. Correct. <laughs> Correct. You yeah. don't. Since he's telling you no. <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> All right. I thought we were going to be able to set up a sweet killing field. You thought wrong. Dropping the guy in that the couldn't channel. find my books. You're the guy who couldn't find the star. Yeah, this is true. To be fair, it still doesn't look like a star now that I know where it is. I I, I, well, couldn't see I found it. I found it as a star, so Oh <laughs> if I actually make it bigger I can see it. There it is. So the third room from the right or the first room from yeah. the left. Yeah, so perfect. Um, so essentially, Jarvis is going to be right next to the uh, farthest door on the right that we haven't opened yet, at the end of the hall. Uh, uh, okay. I guess there's not quite enough space for me to stand in front of him and then have that open, the, the like way toward the alcove open. No, it's not. Like... Um, yeah, no, that's not enough space. It's okay. going to be 1v1 with a little help from a person behind you, but you're giving whatever's in there uh, some cover because it's such a small area. Does that make sense? Here, I'll, I got... Here, this will help. Can we just find some gasoline? Uh, sure. Uh, drill for oil. <laughs> make a series of intelligence checks on refining Poor. oil. Uh, what are you doing, Brian? Making this all better. I know exactly. He's mono snapping it. Of course I am. Because I started doing it. I was like, nope, I'm sure he's already doing it. Make sure it's color coded. You know and I use, did. And, and use the command key to do a, a filled circle. No circles in this one. Um, so I'm one, Jerry is two, uh, Rollercoast is three, Jarvis is four. So the idea is when the door gets open, we back up so that the blue X is the bad guy going into that space between us. 
So Jarvis is going to have the whatever comes out is going to have really good cover from Jarvis. Slightly less better cover from who was number three? Rollercoaster, or they could swap whatever order. Yeah. You so are I'm six. Back. I'm six feet tall. If it matters, isn't Rollercoaster pretty short? Uh, Not at all. I'm like six feet. Oh, tall that was so. never mind. Other ga other game. Other game. It also game. it also like doesn't make a mechanically make a big difference. This is an an attacking encounter, so people are moving around. That's just yeah. This is yeah. a very small okay. hallway. Um, can we lure him into the room behind us? And you guys are going to smash the door to let something out? Been in that room. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea. Smash the door, let them out, clear them out once they come at us. Okay. You ready? Everybody yeah. ready? Born ready. You want yep. You want to smash now, Kairos? Yep. Make Smash an, now. Make an attack roll. Uh, that is a 13. For five points of damage. I mean, I'm going to smash the door down until it comes down. Sure. Yeah. So uh, you smash it, and immediately a bunch of humanoid looking things with their flesh hanging off. One of them doesn't have a jaw and just like a rotting tongue. Uh, zombies are trying to make their way out to you guys. Uh, roll initiative. I feel like Brian was right. waiting for zombies for something. I mean, I was moaning like a zombie. I feel like I did a good impression. You yep. did. It's what I expected. And I said to move on, but Rollercoast made a good point. We were hired to clear this place out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going last. <laughs> well, that's actually okay. You're in the very 20, yep. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. Oh, God. 15 to 10. 12. 14. 14. What's, that leaves me. What's your dex, Dave? Dex is... Modifier. Plus one. Mine's plus three. Kairos, you were 12? Mm-hmm. Four. Thank Just, you. I'll, I'll save you some numbers. Yep. All right. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie. Z1. Z2. Z... Z4 Z5 What the <laughs> <laughs> So weird. I so I I have 2d20s that I'm rolling with and I rolled them 3 different times and each time I rolled a 20 and a two. How is that? You should uh, balance your dice. See what they come out as. <laughs> Make sure you use the right salt, though. Well, I mean, I it's kind of balanced in a or... way. Uh, That's a fair point, yeah. Because I can't Quite keep balanced. track of which one <laughs> is. <laughs> wow, that's weird. All right. Well, I guess your zombies are grouped nicely for the initiative order. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely is. All right. Three zombies turns. Rip. Coming out. Using your diagram, one is going to push out to the right at you, Kairos, and zombie smash slam. That's a, I rolled a three. That's a six to hit. That's a no. I will not do it. The other zombie is going to try to push by and get to who's in the front on the other side? Jerry. 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 12 to hit, Jerry? Nope. Okay. 
And what do, what do I uh, what do I do with the shield? Um, it's on your back. Okay. <coughs> Are you gonna use it? I make sure you check how that works with raging. Yeah, yeah, you can't use it with rage. Okay. So uh, the third zombie is going to. Not do anything because it can't get by to someone else. Cool. Rollercoast. I am going to attempt to stab over Jerry into the zombie in front of him. Have at it. <laughs> and I'm going to use my. Sometimes initiative is so weird. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I just got to say it. Using no, my it's true. Ambusher for two attacks. But like thinking about how mechanically to represent a battle yeah, yeah, is yeah. pretty hard has, to You to gotta make, have some sort of order to And it. you have it's to make so it weird. fair. Yeah, so it's super <laughs> it is super Here, weird. You stab him over my shoulder before I do anything quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I got a fourteen and a mod twenty. Yeah. Both both uh hit. Oh, and then I can bonus action for a third attack because the dread ambush doesn't. You have like, multi attack right now, right? Is that what you're doing? I have the. Where to go? Two weapon. Two weapon. Two fighting weapon fighting. Plus. Oh, okay. Got it. Plus dread ambush. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah. So <laughs> the first. So. For those first two attacks, it was 15 damage. Okay. You smash it dead. Oh. Well, then I don't need that third attempt. Because there's nothing else for me to stab. Indeed. Right. Unless I'll you want to stab turn. Jerry. I don't encourage that sort of thing, though. I'll just... Uh, Not yeah, stab Jerry. Okay. Jerry... Jerry just gets his axe out and just so winds a, up, cranks it. The one in uh, front of you or the one in the corridor to the right where they all came out of? The one right in front of me. Okay. Um, and I, I get a 21. Yep. And do five damage. Okay. Anything else? Do you want to rage? Nope. Okay. Kairos. Jerry got his head crunch in. I'm going to shoot for mine, for the one right in front of me, and that is a nat 20. Nice. I will roll a one, double to two for five. That's rough. Bummer. I knew I should have just rolled two d8s. Anything else? No. Okay. That'll be Jarvis. So how does it work if there's two people in my way? Yeah, they're, whatever you're trying to aim at down the hallway has a certain amount of cover, which improves the armor class of cool. whatever you're trying to hit. The only thing you see now is the one attacking Kairos that Jerry just yep. went after, so yeah. Yep, I'm going for the one attacking Kairos. Yep. And no. What'd My fireball just goes into the wall. A four plus yeah. five, nine. Okay, yep. Anything else? Uh, nope, can't. Um, I'm just chilling back here. Just jumping up and down. Can't see, guys! <laughs> <laughs> can't see! All right, so zombie number three comes out to attack. It's a, it's a zombie! <laughs> So, okay, I thought about throwing a firebolt at the ceiling to drop stuff on it, and I was like, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> uh, natural one. Jake's rolls are amazing tonight. I like it. Which dice is this? The same dice that was murdering you uh, in the tavern. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, it's a complete miss. It. You notice as it's shambling by you trying to hit uh, that... 
it has no bridge over its eyes and there's nothing there maybe it took an axe when it was alive but I don't know if that's affecting it but it just kind of shambles right by you uh, and uh, that will be its turn and then zombie number four is gonna come out and just kinda try to hit but can't hit anyone so that's everyone's turn because uh, zombies are stupid we're back to the top of the round zombie one still alive is gonna attack you Kairos back to the top of the round top of the eighth inning <laughs> Dodgers, bring your kids to the stadium tomorrow night for Dodger time do with Dodger dog D Daryl. <laughs> I'm Vince Scully. It's always right near the surface, ready to bubble. It's true. Uh, w <laughs> yeah, so 14 to hit, Kairos. No, sir. Okay. And zombie number three. Nope. Uh, roller coast. Two attacks. <laughs> Seven and oh, 24. Yep. 24. What's well, a six plus three? That's a nine. Anything else? Well, that'll be it. Jerry? Swings again with his great axe. It's not a good, but a great axe. Indeed. Um, and he gets a 20 and 7 points of damage. Sure, I heard 20 and then you cut out, so I'm going to assume uh, that hits. 7. 7 points of damage. Okay. Kairos. Try to finish this one off. Another nat 20. Nice. Don't so roll a one. This time, so that's six, nine points of damage. Okay. Still alive, barely. Jarvis. I got it, guys! I got it! <laughs> and I jump up and throw another firebolt. Yep. Finally. Uh, 24, mm. 23. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Four damage. Hey Jarvis, you your firebolt hit it. You got it good. Yay, good see! This guy in front of me's too tall. And that's your turn? Yep. Alright. Two of the zombies are blocked, but the one is not is I rolled another nat one. This is stupid. <laughs> uh, keep rolling them. Keep rolling. Very, it's a very undead roll. And stealing all your twenties. I don't know. Uh, the one attacking Kairos is gonna do that. Unfortunately, that means the twenties are being saved for whatever's next and more destructive. Maybe. I've often wondered if it worked that way, uh, because it seems like at times it. I mean, these like are that. the dice for the campaign. It knows we're just fighting zombies. <laughs> yeah. no, fair enough. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, misses the one in front of you, Kairos, and then Jerry, you're getting another one. I rolled a two. So, what am I even doing? Let's. <laughs> All the zombies are dead. <laughs> it's getting close Every... to that. Everybody, roll your attacks at the same time. <laughs> Roller coast. Two attacks. Uh, first one misses. Second one's a ten. Yeah, just hits. Five damage. You murder it. It is dead. End of my turn. You mean it is re dead? <laughs> it is re deadened. <laughs> the deadening. Yeah. Jerry. Another one shambles out. Just done, done. 
done. Swings that great axe. Yeah, you sideways. do. Sideways. And uh, seven, seven damage again. Cool. So it's a 20. I got like a 22. Been rolling great with these zombies. Anything else? Nope. Kairos. The clown it's car zombie. zombies. Jarvis, it's another zombie. Just wanted to keep you in the loop. Uh, that's a 12. Yes. Eight damage. Jarvis. Jumps up, throws a fireball. 15. Yes. Five damage. Okay. Uh, okay, one's going to attack you... Jerry. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, Kairos, you killed that one in front of you. My bad. I was hoping I did. Yeah. 13 to hit, Jerry. Yes. That is four bludgeoning damage, which is not halved because you're not raging, correct? Correct. Cool. Another one's going to come up to you, Kairos. Nope, that's a four on the die. No, sir. Uh, Rollercoast. Two attacks. The first one was an 11 to hit and then a 23 to hit. Yep, both hit. Total of eight damage. You kill it. End of my turn. Jerry. Another axe. Oh, so that's a 10? Uh, it? Yes, it does. It's five points of damage. I've been rolling terrible on the damage. Okay. Jarvis. He goes up. 11. Yep. One. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back at the top of the round. No, never mind, zombie turn. I think you jumped me. Did I? After oh. Jerry. Go ahead, smash. Sorry. Smash it. That's all good. Uh, I did hit, and it's a whopping four damage. Cool. <laughs> Minimum damage. Excellent. It was a 21 to hit. 22 to hit. Now it's zombie's turn. Zombie smash... Kairos. That's an 8 on the die, plus 3 is an 11. Rebuffed yet again. These zombies suck. <laughs> Attacking Jerry, that's a 3 on the die. These zombies suck. <laughs> Poor what zombies. happened to your die? <laughs> he looks very upset. <laughs> I'm just, well, it's not fun. It's not like there's, there's no dramatic there's no tension. tension. Yeah, it's just like... The tension is how bad can he roll? And that's like <laughs> which is silly. Uh okay, so back to the top of the round, roller coast. Mod twenty and a twenty one to hit Indeed. total of eleven damage. Thank you for ending this early. <laughs> uh Jerry. Uh nineteen yep. and ten damn. You murder it. Yes. You re-murder it, and one zombie left. Kairos. Jarvis, I just turned that last one into jelly. Yeah! Oh. And I get a nat one. Smashing yeah. Morningstar into the wall. I, I tried to, like, jazz it up and, like, dance with the zombie <laughs> before I hit it. You're getting cocky. They've yeah. been moving so hilariously, and yeah, it got cocky. Is there just a pile cocky. of zombies in the middle of the walkway now? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Jarvis. <laughs> I just see it as I pop up. Actually, I might not even see it. Uh, I hop up. Do I see that last zombie? Yep. Fires another firebolt it's from the air. It's got almost total cover. 21 for damage. Yeah, it does. Hit. Now, last zombie's turn on Kairos. That's a 7 on the die, plus 3 is 10. No. No. Rollercoast. 
Glad I got my shield out for this fight. <laughs> 14 <laughs> and 18 to hit. Yep. Total of 8 damage. It's looking rough, Jerry. 21 to hit and 11 damage. Dead. You have murdered <laughs> the zombie. <laughs> yeah. That was not a interesting encounter. <laughs> Good show, gentlemen. Good show. We, I think, uh, are they all are they all done? And I peer down into the room. It's cleared out. Right? Yeah, it smells bad. It smells real bad. Not knowing that they're all dead, I pop up again and throw another firebolt <laughs> at where all the zombies were. And then I realize as I'm throwing it, I'm like, oh. You might hit Kairos. Do you no, really want to do not, that? Not actually throw it. Like okay. I go to do it. Like you see me. Kairos sees me like pop up again, and I'm just like, uh. Sounds good. Oh, Kill did I hear you say zombies. that you were firing firebolts and you couldn't even see? Do you know how dangerous <laughs> that is? That's ridiculous. Well, what did you want me to do? Not do that? <laughs> I don't know. Do some other hoogly boogly magic. I don't know what you do. <laughs> anyway. Hoogly boogly hoogly. <laughs> now that that's been sorted and that's all cleared out. Uh, is your magic heard... really called hoogly magic? <laughs> <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. What day is it? <laughs> Tuesday. What are the names of the days on the Forgotten Realms? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I have them written down somewhere. I don't get it, because <laughs> the Forgotten Realms. Can't <laughs> oh! So, checking this room, I assume. Yep. Nah. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Jerry, I assume Jerry, somebody is. Jerry's trying yeah. to loot, loot the zombie. He's pulling some intestines, and he's like, I could... Gross. So, uh, I've seen people use these. I'm pretty sure you can make sausage out of those, yeah. There's corpse people juice a lot coming of out of there. <laughs> some people pay a lot Make of a constitution roll. Save. <laughs> a save. Nat, nat 20. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, as he describes, he's got no problem with it. Some people use these. Black goo is coming. You guys get a <laughs> whiff of it. Uh, yeah, so it's checking this room. On the north-facing side of the sarcophagus at the bottom of the room are ghastly images of human cannibalism. The sarcophagus was plundered long ago, and all you find are jawless human skulls and a few bone fragments. That's sad. Mm. Well, I turn around and start looking at this uh, door behind me. Same as any other door that's been in here. Yeah, yeah. All the doors yep. are the same. I figure. Um, my, my spider friend wants to know what's on the other side of that door. Well, okay. your spider friend can go look then, by all means. <laughs> Make a perception check. Are you making any attempt to be stealthy or no? Uh, nope. Okay. Just normal spider, spider. Spider, spiderin. You said perception, uh, so that on my spider would be, uh, so that would be a wisdom plus zero, so six. All right. You see the walls of this room, the walls and floor, are covered with streaks and splashes of dried blood. Mm. There are two dangling bodies that are shackled to the east and south walls. One looks like a human, and the other one looks... has horns. Humanoid. So, your first guess is Tiefling. Both are bloody, not moving, and there's a, there's a bucket with salt around it. Not around it, but like, the salt has been spilled, it looks like. I found salt for your dye. <laughs> hey guys, nice. room looks clear, two bodies, very bloody, tiefling, we should check it out. 
Can you call a room with two bloody bodies in it clear? Let's go find out. <clears throat> I push open the door. And... It opens. Uh, you see the human is a male human. The other is a young female tiefling. And there's a chair that you didn't see with a bloody whip draped over it. You can surmise that the salt was used to salt wounds as Bane, Baneites do. And uh, the male human doesn't move when you enter. I approach the tiefling. The tiefling doesn't move either, but is breathing. She looks unconscious. I walk up to the tiefling and I place my hand on her chest and the silver light spreads and I lay on hands her four, five HP. Okay. Um, she springs back to consciousness, still in a ton of pain, but now awake and feeling a little bit better. She says, Oh, are you? Looks around, looks at you guys, and uh, did you? Are you? You're not Bainites, are you? Bane? Of course Bane. not. We're here to kill them. And I pull out the key ring that we picked off of Buckethead, and I start trying to use the keys on whatever shackles. They're shackled, right? Yep. And yeah, the keys so. work for that perfectly. Sweet. She gets out of those. She thanks you and uh, asks what you're doing down here. Killing the Baynites, like I said. What's your name? I'm Vendetta Cress. What a badass name. <laughs> but it's still very Ven Forgotten Realms. Very. Vendetta. It's a uh, name destined for violence, I'd say. What are you doing down here? How, how'd you end up here? Oh, I work for the Othun Patriarch family, and uh, was attacked, and that's all I remember. I was doing my job and was attacked, and I woke up here, chained up, and I've been. Oh right, right, roller coaster, and I toss you the keys. Uh, you want to check the other guy? Yeah. Is he very dead? Yeah. What's your passive investigation? Twelve. Yeah. Uh, it's very dead. And, uh... Yeah, it's and, very dead. And she turns around and says to you guys when she sees you messing with that corpse, she says, oh, I had to, I had to, it's almost worse watching them torture him because I knew it was coming. Uh, he said his name was Ephanax. Salbor? Salbor? Ephanax, Salbor. Zal or Salbor? Uh... So you don't know who that is? I just, what, the very little... Before, we... before you were chained up in here, I mean. I don't know who, yeah. I Jerry, make an intelligence check. Seven. Nope. Uh, yeah, she basically tells you that uh, she was being... I assume you guys would ask this, so I'm just going to cut to the chase. Yep. Uh, she was attacked in Lower City under interrogation. She gave her captors information regarding the Othunes and their security arrangements. Uh, FNX was being questioned about the Jasso family, which Clem is a member of, that you set free. Uh, she tells you that during her incarceration she heard what sounded like a heavy stone door scraping open and closed from time to time, accompanied by the sound of splashing footsteps. The noise came from the north. Uh, 
The north, well, that uh, looks to be the way we're heading. Um, it's quite a ways back at this point. We're pretty deep into the sewers. Should yeah, I'm just gonna. At, I'm just stay gonna the back and, stay uh, behind and and if if you don't mind and wait for my chance to escape. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's reasonable. Uh, Should we just come back for you in a little bit? I, I oh, no, 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 no. to leave here by yourself. Oh no, I'm not leaving here by myself. And just like if I see a speck of daylight that I can squeeze through, leading up, I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm just gonna stay yeah, behind. She's, she's gonna follow us. Yeah. That was good. I mean, I. If you need it, if you, and you know how to use it, I just kind of. It's a weak gesture because I don't really want to give it up, but. I like, go to hand her my morning star like get, can you swing this if you need to as you hand it to her she grabs it and gets yanked to the ground and she's like no no yeah yeah no i'm gonna take that <laughs> i can't really no it's fine don't worry about it it was just uh just an offer you run for daylight if you <clears throat> i can tell you about the best wines in the area An another day uh yeah, I'd, I'd maybe later that. Okay, so, yeah, I'll stay in the back, and, uh, you guys head north through the north door? Yeah. Jerry, yes. you, said, you said that there's chains in this room, right? Shackles and chains. Shackles. Yeah, Jerry's just, like, kind of entranced by the chains, and he's just, he picks up a link of one, and then he just, like, drops it real fast. It's just like, ugh. Does it... Chains chains creep me out you're jerry just did... holding some guy's guts in the hallway the chain <laughs> <laughs> jerry jerry did you tell them because you guys were part of the same group yeah that went into this I'm... house did you guys jerry did you tell them what happened i assume jarvis you did knows what he, jarvis knows what he's talking jarvis about. knows yeah yeah i, I assume i i was under the assumption we all knew it yeah. Can't be okay. Yeah. A conspiracy without everyone knowing. Um, well, certain aspects could be yeah, hidden if you didn't. Right. Uh, but um, you know, I wasn't there that night, for example. Yeah, he came later, and was talking about. Oh uh, right, I see. My friend was with you. Yeah, who got murdered viciously. One of the, one of the reasons you're creeped out by Jane. Sometimes chains don't just drop to the floor when you let them go sometimes Whoa. chains come after you like like people trying to tie you up and, and chain you up just I, the, I suppose just, just the chains themselves well I mean we did just fight a suit of uh, armor gauntlets at least and I guess yeah chains chains can more of that oogly boogly magic right Jarvis yeah. I think chains are going to freak me out for a while, too. When you see yeah. chains flying around the room hitting people, kind of worry about them, too. Fair enough. Let's uh, move along from these chains, I think, yeah? All right, let's go. And uh, we'll, we'll pick it up there next week with you guys heading north with Vendetta Cress in tow a name that i wish i would have come up with because it would have made me smile that's silly but who cares uh vendetta crest will follow you next week for episode four monday at seven pending it's an interesting chain of events <laughs> nice nice, nice. <laughs> yeah um if you, any of you have anything you'd like to plug, any social medias or anything like that? Sure. Dave? I, uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, it's DRod3 on Instagram and Twitter. Sometimes I talk about D. <laughs> sometimes you talk about what? You broke up. Oh, uh, sometimes I talk about D&D. &D. Okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Did you clarify that because D and D is also to West Rossi nerds? Out. Okay. I don't know. I just thought my mic was cutting out. Maybe <laughs> D and D is too short. My friend started abbreviating D and D out of nowhere, and I was like, 
I got kind of offended because he didn't like. What are they he started. He to? started playing D and D without me, or like I wasn't his first DM. And then he's like, "No, D and D. The guys who who uh, were the showrunners for Game of Thrones. That's what everybody yeah. calls them." And then I got more annoyed. <laughs> 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 and I said, don't you use that acronym in front of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brian, put just take the next five minutes talking about your social media, where people can find you. Uh, it's, it, He's I got mean, a great anywhere, TikTok literally channel. Anywhere, anywhere you look, like you don't even have to Google my name and you'll see me in Google results. <laughs> it's can't pretty get incredible. away from him. Um, can't get away at all, so... Pinterest. So, uh, that's all I really have to say about it. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a trendsetter on Pinterest, obviously. <laughs> Still on Tumblr, even though, like, you know, it changed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I'm not on Tumblr, but you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Friday. I think on Instagram it's at Jake of the Friday. Follow Venture Ventures on Twitter and Instagram at Venture Ventures. Until, that's the important one. That's the important one. Uh, until then, come back next week for episode four. Be excellent to others. Be excellent to yourself. See ya later. <laughs>